Welcome back in to Begum Gymnasium, SIT Tournament. Consolation, I guess it wouldn't be the SIT Tournament, that would be the SITT then, the SIT Salem Invitational Tournament. Here this morning as the Mount Vernon Rams take on the Mattoon Green Wave, we come in with a record of 5-13 and 13 on the season. The Rams coming in, of course, looking to get a couple more wins. Of course, they will play at Centralia next Friday night, but before that, the Rams would like to win a couple here this afternoon here in this tournament, as I said. Mattoon played Mount Vernon last year, if you can remember, in the opening round of this tournament. is very odd and similar. Mount Vernon lost to Mattoon in overtime in the opening round on a Thursday night. And, of course, Mount Vernon had to battle back through this Saturday. Of course, that was when it was snowing on Friday night. Mattoon could make the trip. There were three games here in the afternoon session on that Saturday. Here at the Salem Invitational Tournament last year, this year, the weather is pretty good outside for January 19th. If the Rams were to happen to win tonight, they would play in this Constellation Championship game, which will be held here this evening at B.E. Gum Gymnasium at 630 the Rams would play if they would win this game here. So here's our schedule for today. If the Rams, no matter what the Rams do, following this on a 130 is Mount Vernon Lady Rams versus Carbondale for the championship of the Carbondale Holiday Tournament. Then at 630, if the Rams were to win today against Mattoon, the Rams played 630 night, that game would be on the FM right here, and that would bump the Woodlawn game versus Sissy from the Midland Trail Conference Tournament to AM. And, of course, all the games stream live, whether you get on your phone, you can use and find it everywhere at WMikeSports.com. The Woodlawn game would bump to AM. If the Rams lose today, then the Woodlawn game would go to FM. So you're going to have to pay attention to this game and stuff that we post on Twitter and on Facebook, as well as listen to WMIX as to what's going on. But we are covering games from three different tournaments today, Salem, Carbondale, and the Midland Trail Conference Tournament in Louisville as well as we try to cover as many games as possible of our teams in our coverage area. Both teams still warming up with Salem playing second. Pretty sure the anthem is going to be before the second game, but we'll wait and see as nobody could really tell me before the game what they were planning on doing. That sometimes happens at a busy tournament day as well. as The Rams look to get one going here and get a win. When we get to the starting lineups, they'll be brought to you by Central Christian Church. Incredible things are happening at Central Christian Church in Mount Vernon. Look no further than the new Central.com. Watch your Friday night and Sunday services online. It's the new Central.com. Central Christian Church, loving God and loving people. Any scoreboard updates today that we get, and scores will be coming in here shortly. We brought to you by Tony Wilton State Farm Insurance. Tony Wilton State Farm sponsors the scoreboard. Tony's glad to help your family with all their insurance needs. Give us a call at find him or find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. And we'll have scores updates around Southern Illinois coming up. Brought to you by Tony Wilton State Farm Insurance. Both teams are at the benches. We'll take a break. We'll come back with a starting lineup. You're listening to Rams Basketball on WMIX. I'm Michael Stack with a look at your next rad weather. A bit breezy with mostly sunny skies this afternoon's high 53, mainly clear skies tonight. The low 26, a bit colder with mostly sunny skies, high 36 Sunday, partly sunny, brisk and very cold Monday, high 20. Cold on Tuesday with times of clouds and sunny skies, high 21. Not as cold with sunny two partly cloudy skies, high 40 Wednesday. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. At Vanterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Vanterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make us stand out from the crowd. 
independents uh, like the medicine shop offer home delivery, people find that so convenient. And not just seniors, uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evenings is just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition, absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you, and we'll take care of the rest. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts, and many other 90-day plans. The Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. This is Joe David Cummins from Community First Bank. You're listening to the Rams on WMIX. the anthem was played or sang before the game, but that's okay. Sometimes they throw curveballs at tournaments all the time. Denny Zawinski back at BE Gum Gymnasium. Salem Invitational Tournament. Consolation semifinal between Matt Vernon and Matt Toon. The starting lineup today brought to you by Central Christian Church. Incredible things are happening at Central Church in Mount Ver- Central Christian Church in Mount Vernon. Central offers exciting worship experiences packed with energy and relevant teaching and awesome programming for children and youth. Check out the new Central.com for service time and more information. The starting lineup, Matt Toon, will be the visitors on the scoreboard this morning, at least to start with, and then it'll be the afternoon, of course. The Green Wave will go with number three, Jared Tolson, number 13, Grant Spear, number 20, Ryan Sparks, number 23, Travis Cattell, and number 30, Tanner Scott, for John Forsyth, Mattoon Green Wave who come on the record of 5-13. and 13. Of course, Mount Vernon and Mattoon also play baseball in the spring, played a doubleheader at Mattoon last year. On the baseball schedule, and again set up this year for the Mount Vernon Rams, the home team on the scoreboard this morning. They will go with number 3, Jaron Lydell, number 4, Braden Fitzgerald, number 22, Michael Feeser, number 32, Jake Pike, and number 33, Trevor Floda. And, of course, the Rams are coached by Mount Vernon alumni Scott Gamber, the Rams and Mattoon, the winner to play tonight in the Constellation Championship game at 6.30 here at B.E. Gum Gymnasium in the longest-running midwinter tournament in the state of Illinois, from what we could find out, at least down in this neck of the woods. Your officials for today's game, friends of the Saturday Sports Show, Trent Purcell, Jason Rhodes, and Kevin Diss. As we get underway, our title sponsor today, Community First Bank, for title big corporate banking of a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home in Dick's Island, Woodlawn, and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Mattoon in green road jerseys, trimmed in yellow and white. Mount Vernon in their home whites, trimmed in orange and black. The Rams look to get another win, win two here today, and become Constellation Champions at Salem in 2013. Tip controlled by the Mount Vernon Rams. Lydell will bring it up for the Rams against the zone here by Mattoon, a 2-3 zone. Float on the left wing. Back over to Lydell. Back over to Float, left wing. He'll launch his first three of the day. It's off the mark, front of the iron. Rebound goes to Liddell, top of the key. Lydell gets it in the chair of Pike, and he scores. Pike, I should say Jake, scores. 2 nothing. Mount Vernon, the Rams out early as they pick up man-to-man across in the front court. Sparks to the right side, guarded by Fitzgerald. Around the ball screen, spins down the lane. Running shot in the lane is good. Ryan Sparks ties it up with the answer to a beat. One, two, two, zone press now. Three quarter court from Mattoon. Lydell to Florida. Near the timeline into the front court to Pike, top of the key, right wing to Fitzgerald. Three on the way from the freshman, off the mark, no good. Feeder had it, lost it. Florida fouls and scores. Trevor Florida gets the offensive board. It's 4 2. And the Green Wave roll back the other way. Pilsen will bring it across the timeline. Throws it on the left side to Sparks. Sparks will bring it over. Bob pass down. Feaser tip stolen away by Lydell. Lydell into the front court. Chases the ball down on the right wing. Dribbles back out to the right side. The pitch Gerald's in the corner. Brain goes to the rim. Now kicks the pike to Florida. Left wing three on the way is up. Good. Trevor Florida knocks down a three. He's got five quick ones. It's 7-2. Mount Vernon starts the first quarter with 640 to go over Mattoon. Oh, Cattell with it on the right side. Around the screen. Down the lane he comes. Kick the left wing to Pilton. Shot fake down the lane. Running shot over Feaser is good. Pilsen scores. That makes it 7-4. And a higher scoring start and fast pace to this one early on. Fitzgerald's left side back to Lydell on the right. Back to Fitzgerald. They play catch against his little zone. 
Fidel has it back. Now Green, Green, the Greenway will step down into a 2-3. A Syracuse 2-3 where the wings will pop out deep to the corners, even to the wings. Wydell has a top of the key, standing on the volleyball line. Goes the right side to Braden Fitzgerald. Over in the corner to Florida. Florida at the waist, kicks, holds to Fitzgerald. Back to Wydell. Wydell recovers at the left wing. Over in the left corner, Pike. Three ball on the way for Jake. Is good. Jake Pike knocks down a shot. It's 10 4. Good buddy. Mount Vernon on top by six. Across the timeline is Pilsen. Throws it left side to Sparks. To Scott on the left elbow. Now right side to Pilsen. Dribbles to the top of the key, goes right side to Cattell. Cattell now drives to the lane, now kicks out left wing Pilsen. Three was fought about, but Lydell covered up well, and Pilsen leaves it for Scott. Come to the left, now gives it to Sparks. Sparks leaves it for Cattell for three. It's good. Everybody making a lot here early on. It's 10-7, Mount Vernon by three. And both teams have got their making eye out today, with the Rams up by three over the way. Lydell throws it left sideline, front court left wing to Flota. Back out to Lydell near the timeline. Mount Vernon will set their offense against this 2-3 zone. Lydell throws a right wing to Fitzgerald. The float in the right corner. One dribble back to Fitzgerald. Holds now back to float on that right wing. Scott Gamber yelling out X. He wants Pike to cut up toward the elbows in the gap of the zone. Fitzgerald's kind of right wing to Lydell. Top the key to Fitzgerald. Ball screen feeder sets up to Gerald. Three and it's good. Mount Vernon three for three from three-point range. And Mount Vernon, somebody, somewhere, wants a timeout. 4.40 to go in the first quarter. It's a 30-second timeout. Mount Vernon leads 13-7. to Medicine Shop sponsors this timeout. This year, make a resolution to support your local community and businesses like the Medicine Shop, family-owned for more than 30 years. I'll pick a Red Lake College player of the game when this one is over. To Red Lake College, you can get a quality education and save thousands. Log on to rlc.edu to see which program is right for you. A hot shooting start for the Rams. They are 5 of 6 from the field in this quarter, including 3 of 3 from behind the arc. And the Rams have jumped out to the 13 to 7 lead so far over Mattoon. As the Green Wave called the first timeout here of the ball game. It'll be Mattoon ball after the timeout. Remember, another person is All Stars and Stitches. If you can put a logo on it, All Stars and Stitches, you can probably print it for your school, company, or organization. They even do apparel. See Big Dave but All Stars and Stitches just west of Benton High School. A call of 435-55-55. Off the timeout, Mount Vernon pressures. Gets it in. Lydell on the field. Hawkins missed the left. Gets the rebound. Puts it back up and in. Shikari Hawkins off the bench after the missed shot. Gets his own board and scores. Mount Vernon's up 15-7. Presses again. Forces a turnover. Or just about there. They pointed the wrong way. With the basketball on the right side. Deep corner inbound is Cattell. He'll inbound in front of the Mattoon bench. Holds and now gets it into the right corner of the backcourt. That's over to Scott. Scott gets it to Pilsen and throws in the front court to Sparks. Sparks down to the right block. Layup good by Spear. Mount, to say, Mattoon did a great job breaking that pressure. 15-9 to nine as the wave gets back to within six. Lydell in the backcourt against this 1-2-2 two, two zone trap. Gets it to Hawkins on the right side. Hawkins came in at the break. Four Fitzgerald. Spezer to float on the left wing. Back out to Lydell near the timeline. 3.55 to go in the first. Rams lead Mattoon 15-9. Lydell throws it right side to Feaser. Back out top to Keita Hawkins. The Lydell on the left wing. Looking for a cutting Feaser. It was tipped. And I thought it was tipped from our angle, but it was not. Turnover to Mount Vernon. Mattoon has the basketball. We said high above. B.E. Gum Gymnasium here at Salem. Interesting view. I like this view a lot better sitting up here high in the middle. Across the timeline, Pilsen for Grant, for Mattoon gets in the left corner. For Sparks for a three, it's no good off the mark. Rebound goes to the Spear. He'll throw one out to the right cor- left corner to Scott. Down the lane, right wing pass, three. Cattell on the way, good. It is a three-pointer shooting bonanza so far. 15-12, Mount Vernon only up by three, even with their good shooting. Fitzgerald's going to check back in the next step. Ball slow comes across the timeline and bounces it on the sideline. Trying to get it to Hawkins in the corner. That's the second turnover on the Rams here in the first quarter. Tomorrow's the day that anything could happen. Are you ready? When you meet with Sarah Staley at Country Financial in Mount Vernon, you get a one-on-one relationship and a plan that meets your goals. Country Financial, what's your idea of financial security? Coming across the timeline, the way, throwing the right wing to Cattell. Throws it left side to Sparks. In the corner, that goes to Scott. He's double-team ball to the floor, picks it up. Mattoon has it, and that's for Sparks on the left wing. 
He'll set up a play, 2.55 to go in the first quarter. Mattoon trails Mount Vernon, 15-12. to Kilson with it, splits it, now goes right wing. That's to Spear, throws it left side, left corner to Scott. Backs down on the block, feature cuts him off. Scott throws up a fat shot, rebound to Gerald. Rams run the other way, floated down the lane. Lost it, got it back, bounces off, it's a turnover. Here comes Mattoon coming, Pilsen into the front court. Slows it down for the way, throws it left wing to Sparks. Down the lane, he comes right side, he traveled the basketball. Second turnover for Mattoon in the first quarter. Your community, your choice, your bank, with five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Wydell bringing it across the timeline. The Wave go man-to-man this trip down the floor. Feaser has it on the right wing to Hawkins, now left wing to Lydell. He'll hold at the waist. One dribble to float the top of the key, and we have an illegal screen. Underneath, Shikari Hawkins is trying to body up and push somebody from Mattoon, trying to get out to defend the top of the key. He got away with a moving screen. There's no reason for that as Coach Gamber yells below us. The other Coach Gamber here today, Brian, after a hot off his third-place finish in the MTC tournament last night, a game we broadcast right here. And the Rams play a little zone here. The so one 3 one variety in the right corner is Filson. He'll go back to the right wing. That's Cattell. Cattell throws it left side over to Sparks, now in the corner. That is Scott with it in the corner. Scott throws it top of the key and a nice catch by Cattell. Now left wing to Sparks. Sparks looking over this 1-3-1. Cattell with it, right wing to Pilsen. Dribbles around back to Cattell at the free throw line. Shot over Feaser is good. Travis Cattell, 3-for-3 three three from the field. He has 8, and it's 15-14, Mount Vernon by 1, with 1.25 to go in the first quarter. Lydell across the timeline, gets a ball screen, goes to the left wing to Floda, who dribbles now to the free throw line, right wing to Fitzgerald. Two dribbles, top of the key. Dribbles around again. And he'll set the offense. Fish Hawkins at the right elbow. Gives it off to Fitzgerald. Travel with the basketball. It's the fifth turnover on Mount Vernon here in the first quarter. Now the substitution come in. Jake Pike will come in for Jaron Lydell. Familiar faces, new places. Bank with Ray and Bria. Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to personal banking. Here comes Matthew looking for their first lead of the game. Pilsen goes to the right, picks up the dribble, throws it post right to Scott, backs down Feaser, goes left, now kicks it to Pilsen on the wing. T steps in, dribble drive jumper from the elbow is no good off to Mark Mount Vernon with the rebound. Rams run the other way, Fitzgerald's on the right wing. Down the lane he comes, goes to the rim. We'll see if the basket counts or if the plow was on the floor. Official runs over and says it was on the floor, so we'll take it out of bounds. That's on Ryan Sparks and Mattoon, his first, team's first. Hawkins to trigger the inbound. Holds above his head, looks, throws it out to Fitzgerald near the volleyball line. 30 seconds to go in the first quarter. Fitzgerald with it. Left to Feaser at the elbow. Now it gets it to Fitzgerald. Has to pick it up. Back to Feaser deep left wing with 30 seconds. Over to Hawkins on the right side as he holds against his man-to-man from the way. Floated with it on the left wing. Goes baseline. Spins, gets down the lane, throws up a running shot. No good. It goes out of bounds, and it'll be off of Mount Vernon. And it'll go to Mattoon with 17 seconds. Mattoon will have a shot to take the lead. They also will have the possession arrow, barring a jump ball, to start the second quarter. Pilsen across the timeline for the wave. Guarded by Pike, man-to-man with eight. Top of the key, he comes. Crosses over down the lane. Running tear drop is no good. Rattles in and out. Rebound now, Vernon. Will they get a final shot? Fitzgerald from three-quarter court is no good. And after eight minutes of basketball here at the SIT, it's Mount Vernon 15, Mattoon 14. We'll take a break and come back with the second quarter. You're listening to Rams Basketball on WMIX. Tomorrow, it's the championship round of the NFL playoffs as we bring you a special doubleheader. Hi, this is Scott Graham. Join me and the rest of our Dial Global Sports crew from the Subway Fresh broadcast booth for all the action. First, the San Francisco 49ers head to Atlanta to take on Matt Ryan and the Falcons. Then, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots host Ray Lewis and the Baltimore Ravens. The NFL playoffs are right here. Your radio home for Conference Championship Sunday is 94.1 FM WMIX. If you farm or operate an agriculture-based business, then Community First Bank is for you. Hi, I'm Steve Down, Agribusiness Lending Officer at Community First Bank. 
With our roots firmly planted in Jefferson County, we offer the stability, strength, and personal attention that you deserve. Community First Bank wants to be your financial partner with customized products for both your personal and farm banking needs. Stop by any of our five convenient Jefferson County locations to see how we can help your business grow. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Back to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square on WMIX. Eight minutes in the book here in a consolation semi at the SIT. Mount Vernon leads Mattoon 15 to 14. Danny Zorinski here solo today. Chris Hugo en route to Carbondale for the Lady Rams and Terriers in the championship game of the Carbondale tournament. Mattoon has the basketball. Pilsen has it on the left wing. Mount Vernon man to man spins to the left elbow. Leaves it off for Wessel now on top of the key to Sparks. Sparks will take a couple dribbles to the left, leave it for Pilsen. He'll shot fake pipe now to the elbow. Kick it out top of the key to Wetzel. Three on the way is good. And just like that, Matuk has taken the lead 17-15 over Mount Vernon. Fitzgerald's across the timeline on the dribble. Down the lane he comes, kicks it right corner to Pike. He'll drive in, left-hand layup up, no good, short. Rebound goes to Matuk. They wave into the front court. Pilsen on the left wing. On the dribble, Mount Vernon zone right now, 2-3 variety. Except now they switch to man and they see a guy switch off. Left wing with it to Sparks. Over on the left wing is Pilsen. Thought about the three. Couldn't get it off. Throws it to Spear on the right side. That's a travel. That's a third turnover on Mattoon in the game. With five locations in Mount Vernon, Dick's Ina and Woodlawn, Community First Bank is proud to be the official voice of the Rams. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Hawkins, Lydell, Fitzgerald, Floda, and Caesar for the Rams. As they play here with 6.55 to go in the first half, Mount Vernon on top. Trails, I should say, 17.15. Mount Vernon tried a lob pass underneath. It was stolen away, but a Matt Toon's did not step out of bounds. They threw it down towards their basket, and Mount Vernon was the only player's back. Fitzgerald throws the right side to Feaser. Feaser holds above his head. Now throws it to Hawkins at the left elbow. Hawkins looks and throws it and looks now to cutting Fitzgerald down the lane. He got shoved from behind on a good call by the official. Didn't know if he could see saw that or not, but got a good call. That foul was on number 21. Austin Wessel, his first. Team second, the WMI Sports Mobile Studios, driven here today by Sports Square and King City Chrysler. That's how we roll the games here on WMI X. Lydell, the Feaser, the Floda in the corner. Three on the way from Travers, no good off the mark. Rebound to Hawkins, he puts it up again. Shikari Hawkins with another rebound. He's got four off the bench. And we're tied at 17, 6.15 to go in the first half. Matt Toon throws away on the pressure, playing too fast. And Mount Vernon right now has found something that might work for them, pressuring Matt Toon to play a little quicker than what they want to. Here come the Rams, tied at 17. What's been a very good game so far as we urge to the top of the 12 o'clock hour. Lydell double-teamed at the timeline, the Feaser on the right side. Holds above his head against this man-to-man from the way. Leads it for Fitzgerald between the circles. He'll go left wing to Lydell. Lydell goes out top the key on the dribble. Holds, looks left side to Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald's with it. Will go off the screen. Now ball screen back to his right pick and roll. Hawkins layup up and in. Nicely done. Fitzgerald to Hawkins. He has six. He being Hawkins. And the Rams are back up by two and they press. Here comes Matt Toon quickly the other way. Pilsen down the lane. Bounce pass left block. Scott layup blocked from Feaser. Scott got his own board and then threw it away. Mount Vernon has the basketball the other way. Hawkins gets a left block. Florida goes in, reverse layup, and scores. Florida with seven. It's 21-17. Mount Vernon 4-0 run. Mattoon the other way. Wetzel to the rim. Kicks it off to Scott. Left block layup. Good. And we play back and forth. Tied it. Sparks will take. Mount Vernon leads 21-19. Fast and furious is this game. Lydell to the left side to Florida. Now go top to Keita Fitzgerald behind the timeline. He backs it up and starts the offense. Dirtles him down the line. Fitzgerald to the rim. Up shot. No good but a foul. And Fitzgerald gets to the line on the third team foul from the Mattoon Greenway. As you heard, number 30, Tanner Scott picked up his first team's third. Now it's in Braden Fitzgerald to the line with three points this morning. Only made his three shots. One of two from the field. First free throws up, and no good, he'll get another. So that one rattled out. Pike is in for Florida. As we look the other way. 
Fitzgerald will get another. Mount Vernon leads 21-19 right now. Second shot up and in. Fitzgerald hits one out of two. He's got four. 22-19. Rams by three as they pressure the wave in the backcourt. Spear with it across the timeline on the dribble. And we'll head the other way. We'll get a scoreboard update coming up here in the next dead ball. Pilsen with it on the left wing. Mattoon trails Mount Vernon by three. 22-19. Down the lane, Cattell goes, and that'll be a charge. Cattell on the charge. His first team sports turnover to Mattoon. That's her fifth of the quarter. At the half, Oakville leads Sessor Valero 35-19. That is down at the BIT. And then we'll get some other stuff going on as from the Highland Girls Tournament, Calvin Herrick beat your city beat Highland 57 48. That scoreboard update brought to you by Tony Wilt. Tony is glad to help your family with their insurance needs. Give us all, give us all the call. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Chief around town. Mount Vernon worked their ball at not nicely. And the Rams have worked Hawkins into the post and he got fouled on his shot. And Shikari Hawkins will go to the line to shoot two shots. 22-19, Mount Vernon on top. First free throw by Hawkins is good. He'll get another. What a nice game so far for Shikari. He has seven off the bench. He has been a spark plug as Mount Vernon leads 23-19 here with 4.17 to go in the second quarter. Hawkins makes the second. He's got eight off the bench. 24-19, Mount Vernon by five. Spear has it in the backcourt. It's a 1-2-2 two, two press by Mount Vernon. Cattell has it in the front court. Back tap stolen away. Pike with a steal. Hawkins finishes the pike. Baseline pass floater lost it off his hand. Mount Vernon had an opportunity to go away. Here come the wave the other way. Cattell into the front court. On the right side, right corner with it to Wetzel. That goes right wing. Three ball away from Wetzel. No good short off the mark. Rebound Feaser. Mattoon has cooled off considerably as Hawkins has it on the right wing. We'll make one dribble back to Pike, and Mount Vernon will reset. Pike to Lydell near the timeline, 335 to go in the first half. Mount Vernon up 24-19, make that 26-19. Lydell to Hawkins on the inside pass, and the Rams are up seven. In the backcourt is Spear at the elbow. He'll throw it in the front court to Pilsen. Pilsen on the left side. Pilsen between the legs, loses the basketball on the dribble, now has to get it back out to Spear. Over on the right side to Cattell, and then over there to Wetzel on the right wing. Four out right now is the offense for the, for the way. Cattell is it at the circle, top of the key pass, the spear. Down the lane he comes, got jabbed in the eye. And with the poke, that'll be the second foul on the Rams, and that is going to be on number three, Jaron Lydell, his first team second. With five Jefferson County branches and response to quality service for all your accounts, Community First Bank would like to be the first to say welcome back to Personal Banking, WMI Sports Mobile Studio, driven by Fort DeCroix and King City Chrysler. So I got here to the ball game in Salem this morning. With it on the inbounds pass, Scott on the left wing, leaves it for Spear. He goes baseline around two ram defenders, throws it up and scores. Good defense by Mount Vernon, great offense by Mattoon. Lays to a basket, it's 26-21, Mount Vernon on top by five. Lydell across the timeline, off a ball screen with Hawkins. Goes to the left, kicks it to the left wing. Lola comes down the lane and travel with a basketball. The eighth Mount Vernon turnover. As Fitzgerald will come in for Flota. Nope, Fitzgerald checks in. Now he's in for Flota. And now Mount Vernon will go with Lydell, Hawkins, Fitzgerald, Pike, and Feaser. Mattoon will ring it in the front court. 5 and 13 is the record of the wave. As they mount the Mattoon will break up. Lydell picks up man to man and fills him down the lane. Kicks it out top of the key to Sparks. Back over to Pilsen on the wing. Pilsen shot fake Lydell down the lane. Jump stop goes right side. Three ball Sparks on the way. No good. Rebound goes to the floor to Mattoon. Shot thrown up and in by Cattell. And it's 26-23. The wave will not go away. Two minutes to go in the first half. Mount Vernon up by three. Feaser on the right wing. Couple of dribbles now goes back to his right. Now to the right corner. Picks it up to Fitzgerald on the right wing. To Lydell near the timeline. Lydell goes right side to Feaser, holds above his head. Now to Hawkins near the timeline. Shikari holds with one hand, now goes on the dribble. Goes left, keeps going left. Now comes back to his left. 
Goes to Lydell. He'll dribble back to the middle of the floor with 135 to go. Lydell down the lane. Layup good. What a nice move by Jaron Lydell to get to the rim. And the Rams lead by five, 28-23. Pilsen back the other way. The Rams man-to-man again, as they have been most of the second quarter. Pilsen throws it right side to Cattell. Cattell with it now to the top of the key. Shoot from 16 up, short, front of the iron. Ball tips out. Goes to Lydell with another rebound. Jaron the other way. To the rim, layup, good. Jaron Lydell with five in, or five in a row, I should say, or four in a row. And it's 30-23, Mount Vernon on top by seven. One minute to go in the first half. Right wing pass now for the way. Cattell with it, throws it left side to Pilsen. Pilsen with it, now we'll leave it on the left wing to Sparks. Sparks goes around a ball screen to the free throw line. Pick and roll with Scott to the rim, and he traveled the basketball. Seven Mount Vernon turnovers in the, I should say, Mattoon turnovers in the second quarter. And they can't get any offense going as much as they did in the first quarter. Mount Vernon has the ball up seven with 44 seconds to go. Rams may look to go for the final shot of the first half. Lydell in the front court to Feaser. Back door, Rob Hawkins, who was open, layup, up, and no good. Dips in and out. Floated, gets the rebound, puts it up, lost it. Got a shot blocked. And Mount Vernon will retain possession. Boy, Hawkins was open. <clears throat> Had to lean back to get the ball. I think it affected his shot and left it off the front of the Ryan. Lydell will trigger. Pulls it out top of the key to Pike. <clears throat> Hope the float on the right wing. Float inside to Hawkins. Post move. Shot no good. Rebound Mattoon. Wave roll the other way. Pilsen at the top of the key. Now leaves it for Spear. Back to Pilsen on that right side. Rams up by seven as Pilsen goes to the free throw line. <clears throat> Long three on the way from Spear is good. It's from the left wing. It's 30 26. Mount Vernon by four. As they come the other way with five seconds. Lie down into the front court. Flips two defenders. Left wing three on the way for Flota. Good in the half. <clears throat> Trevor Flota chokes me up with a three at the end of the half. <clears throat> Mount Vernon 33. Matt Toon 26. Choked up as Rams have hit shots lately to go up seven. We'll take a break and come back with the second chance auto halftime show. You're listening to Rams basketball on WMIA. What is good sports talk, really? Around these parts, it's the WMIX Saturday Sports Show. Every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news. With a vast assortment of interviews and knowledgeable in-studio discussion, it's the most content-driven local sports show on the radio dial. And it's every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, only on AM 940 and WMIXSports.com, where you can listen on your computer, smartphone, or any device. It's all made possible by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. Hi, I'm Elaine. I've been a nurse with Good Samaritan for many, many years. One of the best things about my job is knowing that I work for a hospital that cares so much about the community. We're dedicated to attracting the best physicians and investing in the most advanced medical technologies. Whether it's radiology, oncology, or advanced heart care, we provide some of the nation's most advanced treatment options right here in Southern Illinois. That way patients never have to travel far from their families to receive the care they need. I'm always happy when families come visit. And starting in 2013, that sort of thing will happen even more. That's when Good Samaritan opens our all-new regional health center. Everything about the new center has been designed with patients in mind. It features all private rooms and family-friendly areas that make it easier for visitors to stay overnight. I can't wait to see what Good Samaritan does with this exciting new facility. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, raising the bar. How does Dale's Harley-Davidson in Mount Vernon stay the longest-running Harley dealer in Southern Illinois? How about free pickup and delivery and being the home of the $29.95 oil change? Plus, get financing as low as 1.5 APR, along with the best selection of certified pre-owned Harley-Davidsons. So now you know how Dale's Harley-Davidson stays number one. Dale's Harley-Davidson, open every day but Wednesday, just off of I-57 in Mount Vernon. Visit dales-hd.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Paying bills can be such a hassle. Write a check, find an envelope and a stamp, mail it and repeat. Bill pay with People's National Bank can save you time and money. Just go to peoplesnationalbank.com, log in, and pay all your bills without paying for a single stamp or check. Pay anyone, any time of the day, instantly. Stop by People's National Bank today, and we'll help you get started. People's National Bank. 
serving Southern Illinois since 1909. Member FDIC. Learn to live healthy, learn to live well, and learn how you can live free from unexpected medical expense with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance and the Page Agency. Health insurance that covers hospital, medical, and surgical expenses offers a wide choice of deductibles and a non-tobacco user discount, too. Rising medical costs don't have to be a problem with a major medical expense policy from Pekin Insurance. This is coverage we hope you'll never need, but you just can't be without. Call the Page Agency at 242-7000 about a major medical health insurance plan today. This is Rams Basketball on WMIX. The Second Chance Auto Halftime Show starts now. Second Chance Auto for over 32 years. Second Chance Auto. For over 32 years, Second Chance Auto is proud to have put families through the region in dependable vehicles at reasonable prices. Second Chance Auto, living and contributing to the community they serve. Proud to sponsor the Mount Vernon Rams who lead at the half. Over Matt by a score of 33 to 26. We'll take a break and come back with scoring and stats. From the first half, you're listening to Rams Basketball on WMIX. You're looking for a great quality SUV to get you through the winter, right? Well, Second Chance Auto has never had a better selection. Find SUVs from small to medium to large. Four-wheel drive models, too. Their inventory has never been better. Cars, trucks, vans at many priced under $10,000. Instant approval with honest deals on great vehicles. Most have a three-month or 3,000-mile warning. And there's bank rate financing for everyone. Make this your best year with a quality SUV from Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. I know you've heard about mortgage rates being all-time lows, but have you done anything about it yet? Hi, I'm Rick Pig, mortgage lender at Community First Bank. There's never been a better time at buying a home or refinancing an existing mortgage. The sooner you act, the more you save, and we'll be there to help you through every step of the way. For more information, visit us at comfirstbank.net or stop by one of our five locations. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Daily schedules, scores, video, and more. Log on to WMIXSports.com. Back to the Rams on WMIX. And Rams, speaking of those, lead Mattoon at the half by a score of 33-26. Second chance auto believes in lasting relationships, and that's why generations of families have continued coming back for over 32 years. Largest selection of pre-owned vehicles in one location, most priced under $10,000. Second chance auto, proud sponsor of the Mount Vernon Rams. The Rams lead here at the half, 33-26, and they got to this position by shooting 9 of 14 from two-point range for 64%, 4 of 7 from the arc for 57. The Rams go 13 of 21 from two, from the field in the first half for 62%. The Wave for 7 of 12 from two-point range, 58%, or 4 of 7 from three-point range for 57%, and as well as they've shot 11 of 19 from the field, 58% total. They are still down seven. Free throw shooting, Mount Vernon three of four. Mattoon still hasn't shot a free throw. Rebounding went to the Rams 12-5. Turnovers, Mattoon has nine. Mount Vernon has eight. Six players scored in the first half for Mattoon. Travis Cattell had ten to lead the way. Grant Spear had seven. Austin Wetzel had three. Jared Pilson two. Ryan Sparks two. And Tanner Scott had two. The Rams were led in double-figure scores of two. Shikari Hawkins off the bench with 10, and Trevor Floda had 10, including five in each quarter. Jake, Price, Jake Pike had five, Braden Fitzgerald's four, and Jared Lydell had four. Here at the half, it's Mount Vernon 33, Mattoon 26. Winner of this game plays tonight at 6 30 in the Constellation title game versus the winner of the next game between Marion and Salem. We'll step out for a break, come back with the second half. You're listening to Mount Vernon Rams basketball on WMIX. What is good sports talk, really? Around these parts, it's the WMIX Saturday Sports Show. Every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news. With a vast assortment of interviews and knowledgeable in-studio discussion, it's the most content-driven local sports show on the radio dial. And it's every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, only on AM 940 and WMIXSports.com, where you can listen on your computer, smartphone, or any device. It's all made possible by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. 
At Vanterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Vanterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. This is Bray Ashby from Community First Bank. You're listening to the Rams on WMIS. Now Vernon leads at the half, 33-26. to 26, And the Rams have taken over and taken over this game by a score of seven points. Of course, the winner of this game will play tonight at 6.30 in a Constellation Championship game. Of course, third place game is at 5 o'clock. And then, of course, the Rams will, of course, play if they win at 6.30 Constellation Championship against Marion, which will be the third time the Rams have seen Marion, which will mean four by the time the year is over, or against the Salem Wildcats, which would be the third time they would see Salem. So a lot of familiarity in the Constellation bracket here at the Salem Invitational Tournament. The third place game tonight, Effingham versus Triad. Effingham will be a favorite in that one, followed by... The championship game, what many consider will be a decent, pretty good ball game. Edwardsville, high favorite in this tournament. Class 4A team. They will play Centralia here at the SI2. You're listening to the wrapped up Second Chance Auto halftime show. For over 32 years, Second Chance Auto is proud to put families throughout the region in dependable vehicles at reasonable prices. Second Chance Auto living and contributing to the community they serve. Proud to sponsor the Mount Vernon Rams as we are getting ready to start the second half. Both teams over at their benches. We'll remind you of our coverage today. We're doing games from three different tournaments in Southern Illinois today on WMIX. This is tournament number one. As soon as we're done, about 1.15 or so, Chris Hugo will take to the airwaves here on WMIX 94.1 FM, as well as at WMIXSports.com. As the Mount Vernon Lady Rams for the third time this year will play Carbondale. This time it's the championship of the Carbondale Tournament. That game will be at starting at 1.30, 1.15 pregame as the Rams play the Terriers. And then the night, if the Rams do hold on and win this ball game, Chris Hugo will be back here to bring you the play-by-play on the FM of the Rams at 6.30 night in the Constellation Championship game. I and Mike Richardson, or Mike Richardson and I, will head to North Clay tonight for the championship game between Woodlawn and Sisney. If Mount Vernon wins, that game's on A.M., and at WMIXSports.com, if Mount Vernon loses here, it goes to the FM side. Florida and the Rams have the basketball to start. Fitzgerald's right wing three on the way is good. Brain Fitzgerald gets under. Defender went under the screen, and it's now a 10-point Mount Vernon lead, and they pressure a 1-2-2. Mount two, two. Vernon with a tip. Pike with another tip. Good job defensively. Matthew will have to inbound again. Rams have been very energetic in the press. Forcing the issue here this morning and now this afternoon, as I can say, against Mattoon. Pilsen with a basketball brings it into the front court. Goes to the right wing. The Sparks down the lane. He comes on a wide open layup. Missed the layup, but a foul. Sparks will get to the line to shoot two. That's the first team foul on the Rams here in the second half. And that will send Mr. Ryan Sparks to the line with the wave down. By 10. Jaron Lydell picked up his second foul, first on the Rams. First free throw from Sparks is up and in. He'll get another. He's got three in the game. 36-27. The WMX Sports Mobile Studio is driven here today by Ford Square and King City Chrysler. Second free throw by Sparks is good. And it's now 36-28. Mount Vernon by eight. Lydell leaves for Fitzgerald in the backcourt. He'll bring it across the timeline. To Pike at the right elbow. Missed Lydell going to the basket. Now Fitzgerald will try his chance. And a blocking foul. Sparks will pick up his second. That's the second team foul on Mattoon here in the half. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank's at home. And Dick signed a Woodlawn and Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Mount Vernon will trigger the inbounds, four across in the lane, two on the three of the three point lines, and two in the boxes as Lydell will trigger. He'll throw it out front to Florida, top of the key. Florida with a dribble left side to Fitzgerald's on the left wing. He'll dribble back to the middle of the floor, goes right side to Florida. Florida will go back to his left, now stands still as he dribbles, gets it to Lydell. 
out behind the volleyball line against this man-to-man from the wave as Lydell goes to the left, leaves it for Floda. Floda with a top of the key down the lane. He comes hard to the rim, shot left, miss. Rebound, Mattoon comes the other way. The wave roll down the floor. Spear to the lane over Fitzgerald. Glass good. Boy, nice move. Spear in the double figures with 10. And the wave are on a 4 0 run. Back to within six. 36 30 with 6.40 to go in the third. Lydell across the timeline. Comes to the left. Down the lane. Looks for a body. Throws up a shot. No good. Rebound. Mattoon comes the other way. Pilsen leaves it for Spear. Down the lane. Shot. Wild shot. Spear. No bailout call on that one. Mount Vernon with the board the other way. Lydell to Fitzgerald's left wing. Brayton to the rim. The Lydell off his hand. Stands underneath the goal. Back to Fitzgerald. Long three on the way. Good. Brayden Fitzgerald knocks down another three. That's his third of the game. And it's 39-30 Mount Vernon as the Rams. We'll take a timeout. Your community year at this timeout brought to you by Medicine Shop. This year, make a resolution to support your local community and businesses like the Medicine Shop. Family owned for more than 30 years. Here in Salem, it's Mount Vernon 39, Matt Toon 30. Uh, it was 6-12 to go here in the game. I should say in the third quarter, I'm trying to multitask because I tried to look up the scores that are starting to roll in from around Southern Illinois. We'll do that on the next time out. While we do that, we'll tell you, your community, your choice, your money, with five locations and friends and neighbors on staff to understand your needs. Community for Saint keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. Matt Toon will inbound the basketball down nine. Six twelve left to go in the third quarter. Winner goes to the Constellation Championship game tonight here at 6.30. Matt Toon with the basketball. That is Cattell in the backcourt. Throws it to the front court to Pilsen on the right wing. Mount Vernon goes man to man. There goes Wetzel to the rim. Kicks it out right wing to Cattell. He drives in on Pike. Jake does a great job shutting him down, so he has to throw it to Scott. Scott now to Pilsen. Top of the key. And Mattoon will reset. Pilsen to the lane. Backs floated down. Now pulls it back out. And gets Cattell on the right wing. Three on the way short. Rebound, though, goes to Wetzel for Mattoon. Right wing with it to Pilsen. Guarded by Flota. Goes to the left. Left wing pass to Spear. Tries to go to his right. Fitzgerald is going to get the blocking foul. His first team second of the second half. What you don't, don't know or understand about your existing policies can end up hurting you and your family. With the right health and country financial, almost any family can achieve financial security. Develop a plan to meet your goals with the country financial representative in Mount Vernon, Sarah Staley. Mattoon trying to develop a plan to get back into this one. They're working the ball around the perimeter. Pilton goes into the baseline, goes to the lane, and scores on the 10-foot jumper. <laughs> He's got four. <laughs> Mount Vernon up. <laughs> 39-32. Lydell across the timeline, right side to Feaser. Holds above his head to Hawkins, top of the key. Hawkins to Floda on the right side to Floda. Now to Feaser in the lane, shot no good. Rebound goes to Mattoon. Wave come the other way. Spear into the front court. Throws it back right side to Pilsen. Mattoon been bound by as many as 10. Has led. Now trail by 7 with 4.50 to go in the third. Left wing with it. It's Cattell inside pass on the slip screen of Scott. Works to a charm, 39-34. Mount Vernon only up five with 440 to go in the third. Slide out, dishes, Feaser, layup, good. Boy, that's the worst defensive trip for Mattoon in the game. Feaser with his first point at 41-34. Rams by seven. Pilsen across the timeline. Goes left side to Cattell in the corner to Scott. Back to Cattell on the left wing in the corner to Pilsen. Three on the way from Jared up. Shot no good. Rebound feeder. Sky's eye for it. Get to the Lydell into the front court. This is Floda. Left block layup. No good block. Floda gets his own board. Puts it up and in. Nice job by Trevor Floda. The battle on the board amongst traffic. And it's the Rams by nine. Four minutes to go in the third. Pilsen across the timeline. And Mattoon wants a timeout. Mattoon trailing 43-34. It's timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop. This year, make a resolution to support your local community and businesses like the Medicine Shop, family-owned for more than 30 years. Rams up their 43-34 here in the third quarter. If they win, as I said, they will play in the championship game, or I should say the consolation championship game, at 6-30 tonight. 
against the winner of the next game, Marion and Salem, two opponents that by this point in the year Mount Vernon knows relatively well, having played them already each two times. Mount Salem played twice, Marion played twice, so either one would be a third time for the Rams, no matter who they would get here tonight if the Rams were to hold on here at the Salem tournament. As we look for more scores, Rolling through the area, some are coming in, and we're trying to get some. As we started early this morning here at Salem, at the half we had Oakville leading Cesar Valier thirty-five nineteen to BIT, and at the Highland Girls Tournament today it was CHPC beating Highland fifty-seven forty-eight. That scoreboard update brought to you by Tony Wilton State Farm Insurance. He's glad to help here in your family with all your insurance needs. Give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. <laughs> now Vernon threw it in. And Mattoon decided to foul. And that'll be the Wave's second team foul. As Mount Vernon will inbound the basketball. <laughs> Inbounding side out of bounds. The Wave will inbound. That goes to Spear. Spear with it. Top of the key. Splits the defenders. Kicks it in the lane to Wetzel. Goes around to the right side. Three ball and away from Kytel up. No good. Hits the floor, rebound the Florida for the Rams. Mount Vernon comes the other way, could get in the double digits with a basket. Slidell into the front court, goes to float on the left wing, goes right side to Hawkins. Hawkins holds on that right wing and looks, goes out to Wydell near the timeline. Guarded closely by Pilsen. Charon on the dribble around a ball screen from Feaser. Pick and roll, Feaser kicks the right corner. All alone, Jake Pike, three on the way, no good. Rebound goes to Mattoon. Boy, Mount Vernon missed a golden opportunity there. Wave the other way. Spear with it on the left side. Goes in the corner. That's the beef. Beef holds. Now gets it out. Leaves it for Wetzel. Wetzel out top of the key to Spear. Spear will hold. Kick it right wing to Pilsen. Pilsen one dribble. Right corner to Scott. Scott goes to the rim. Kicks it left wing to Spear. Shot fake three on the way. is no good front of the iron. Wasn't going to make that one because he's too busy looking about where the three-point line was. Lydell from Feaser to Hawkins. Baseline layup. Shot no good in the foul. And, boy, you have to be impressed with Shikari Hawkins again today. Off the bench with 10, works his way to the free throw line there, and we'll get to shoot two free throws. Familiar faces, new places. Bank with Ray and Bria, Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Hawkins at the line with 10 points off the bench again today. The super sub missed the first free throw, though. He'll make this one, though. I got faith in Shikari. Need T-shirts, hoodies, letterman's jackets, or any type of apparel for your school, organization, or business? See Big Dave at All Stars and Stitches just west of Ben High School. Call 435-5555. See, I told you Shikari can make it. One out of two. He's got 11. 44-34. Mount Vernon on top. Now we've got a scoreboard discretion. One of the officials runs over to the scores table. Something's going on. We'll tell you while they take care of that business. We'll tell you we are... Driven here by Ford Square and King City Chrysler, we being the WMIX Sports Mobile Studio. We waved our friends from Marion on this side of the business. Into the front court with his Pilsen. He'll hold it between the circles, get the right side to Spear. Back to Pilsen near the timeline. 2.22 to go in the third quarter. Mattoon trails Mount Vernon by 10, 44-34. Cattell throws it inside to Scott. Feaser bodies him up. Oh, they're going to call. Push down. Feaser, Really? Boy, fees are barely bumped. Jeff Crow to my left agrees with me, I know. Barely pushed. Oh, well, you know, you can't push with that knee, though. Here comes an inbound from Mattoon in the left corner to Pilsen. Down the lane, Pilsen spins on Lydell. Lydell bodies up. Great defense by Jaron. Pilsen took up a bad shot. Rebound to the Rams. Jaron into the front court. Down the lane he comes. Oh, lost it out of bounds. Man had a wide open lane. It looked like the Red Sea had parted open for him and got going and dribbled off his leg out of bounds. First turnover for the Rams in a quarter, who lead 44-34 with 2.01 to go in the third. Mattoon gets into the front court. Pilsen, right block pass to Scott over his head onto the stage. Even a tall guy like Jeff Crow couldn't have caught that one. That ball's about 11 foot high. That ball rattled back around behind the chair seats and behind the structure there and went onto the stage. Mount Vernon leads by 10, 44-34 in this consolation semifinal game. Lydell will bring it into the front court. Off the Hawkins ball screen to the top of the key to Feaser, near the top of the key also. Feaser to Hawkins left side. 
Got a mismatch. Shake works to the rim. So in the middle lane, left-hand shot, rattles around the iron, no good. Rebound to Mattoon. Wave rolls the other way. In the bounce pass, right side filter. Oh, blocked by Florida. And they're going to call goaltending on that. There's no way that's goaltending. How is that goaltending? Mattoon went up for the shot, and the layup was up, and Florida hit the ball, which hit the backboard. I don't know how that's goaltending when you block the shot and follow through. It's not that he hit the backboard first and then blocked the shot, but it's a basket for Mattoon, and I'm not sure about that call. I'll have to have somebody officiating, but he talked to me on that one. Hawkins to Lydell on the right side. Many in attendance still discussing that call. If you go for the shot and block it first, then hit the backboard, I don't believe it's goaltending. That's what was called. Hawkins from Feaser, rim shot, no good in the foul. As Hawkins and Feaser have played very well together this afternoon in this ball game, and that will send Hawkins back to the line. The deal was this. The Mattoon player goes up for a layup. Florida blocks the shot first. Then his follow-through hits the backboard, and the official trail official called the block called the goaltending. We'll have to verify that. There's plenty of officials around. Shake misses the first. He'll get one more. While they have subs coming in, we'll tell you the five locations in Mount Vernon, Dick Tyner, and Woodlawn. Community First Bank is proud to be the official voice of the Rams. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Man, oh, man, that was a tough one. Second free throw on the way by Hawk is good. He's got 12. Speaking of Hawk, Shane Hawkins, the Marion coach, just walked in. He's been here a while. Don't worry, he didn't just show up. 45-36, Mount Vernon by nine with a minute to go in the third. With a basketball, Mattoon sparks those the left wing to Pilsen in the corner to Cattell. Cattell double team now to the right elbow to Spear. Spear with it, stolen away, Florida. Trevor with the pick, jump ball coming. It'll be Mattoon basketball on my count. Of course, I had that one right. Mattoon will trigger side out of bounds. Cattell will trigger opposite us. We sit high above on the north side in the bleachers. Really have enjoyed this view. Baseball pass from... Pilsen down to the block, and it'll stay with Mount Vernon. Or I should say, not with Mount Vernon, stay with Mattoon. Another inbound's coming. Sparks the trigger. We'll throw on the left wing. That's to Scott. Back to Sparks. Now it goes right side. All the way to the wing to Pilsen. Holds it above his head against the Mount Vernon man to man with 45 seconds to go. Pilsen now throws it out in the reverse to Cattell. Top of the key, left wing to Sparks. Inside they go to Scott. Spin, turn, shot over Feaser. No good. Good defense, Feaser. Rebound to Hawkins. Rams run the other way. Lydell slips two defenders and there's a reach in foul from behind on Mattoon. That'll be on number 30, Tanner Scott, trying to reach in. Fourteen foul on the way with 35 seconds to go in the third. Malvern on top, 45 36. Feaser to Hawkins, top the key, right wing to Floda. Floda holds that for waste, goes back to the middle of the floor, goes to Hawkins on the left side. He'll dribble back to the timeline. With 25 seconds to go as he holds. And Hill's call. He'll run to start the play. Scott Gamber calls out a play. Gets everybody in position. Hawkins watches the clock with 12 seconds. Rams will go for the final shot here of the quarter. Hawkins will begin to move now with eight. Now with seven. Down the left side. Down the lane. He goes. Running shot on the clear out. No good. And that's how the first quarter is going to end. Mount Vernon 45, Matt June 36. We'll step out and come back with the fourth quarter. You're listening to Rams Basketball on WMIX. Don't just dream about a better job. Go get it with scores of programs that take two years, one year, or even just a few months to complete. Red Lake College is your gateway to a career you'll love. From nursing to coal mining, from computer programming to cosmetology, and everything in between. Rend Lake College is affordable, convenient, and ready to get you trained for your new job fast. Call us at 618-437-5321 or visit us at rlc.edu. You're looking for a great quality SUV to get you through the winter, right? Well, Second Chance Auto has never had a better selection. Find SUVs from small to medium to large. Four-wheel drive models, too. Their inventory has never been better. Cars, trucks, vans, and many priced under $10,000. Instant approval with honest deals on great vehicles. Most have a three-month or 3,000-mile warning. And there's 
bank rate financing for everyone. Make this your best year with a quality SUV from Second Chance Auto. Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. For more scores and insight, follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. Now back to the Rams on WMIX. Back to the fourth quarter in the lead. Mount Vernon with a basketball. Leading 45-36 over Mattoon. Lydell with it left side to float it. Float to Lydell in the left corner. On the dribble to the rim. Goes in the lane. Feaser pass. Got pushed. No call. Now he got it. That'll be a foul Mattoon. I called it. Pushed around on Feaser, and that's the third on Sparks. Hawk will end in the basket. Get him out of the basketball. Shake the trigger. Shikari looks. Looks. Lop. Feaser wasn't there. So it's out top the key to Lydell near the timeline. Jaron on the dribble. He'll go left side to Floda. Floda goes right side. Pat stolen away. Here come the way the other way. Sparks on the layup. Blocked by Floda. And the Rams come back this way. With it, Hawkins charge. Oh, my goodness. Hawkins is going to get called for the charge. And I think that's how I'm going to let it go if he got called for the charge. Turn over to Mount Vernon. You heard some of our Rams fans down below us to our right. Some of the opinions expressed by our fans to our right and below us are not some of the opinions we express here at WMIX. We'll just say it was a charge call on Shikari Hawkins, but there was a big question mark all around it. With Fine Jefferson County Branch and Response and Quality Service for all your accounts, Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to Personal Banking Member FDIC. Any scoreboard updates we got coming in today? Brought to you by Tony Wilton State Farm Insurance. Tony is glad to help your family with all their insurance needs. Give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the white State Farm Jeep around town. Ooh, boy. Tough call for the Rams. They lead by nine. Mattoon with it in the front court. Kaitel with it on the right side. Throws it down to Scott, who's double team. Ball tipped. Stolen away by Mount Vernon to Shikari Hawkins. Lydell to float on the rim. Shot block from behind. Wow, what a clean block by Cattell going the other way. With Mattoon, three ball in the left corner, Pilsen all the way. It's no good. Rebound goes in the corner, couldn't corral it. That would have been Mattoon. It goes out of bounds to Mount Vernon. WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Fort Square and King City Chrysler. So I got here to the game this afternoon here in Salem, Illinois. Lydell bringing the across the timeline, goes right side to Feaser. Feaser goes left to Hawkins, left baseline, pull up jumper, shot glass, no good. Beautiful shot that just didn't work, rebound goes to the way. Across the timeline, Sparks goes to the floor, leaves it for Spear on the left side. Spear down the lane, goes up, shot glass, no good. Rebound, Mattoon off the glass, no good. They'll go one more time on the third shot. This time they lost the basketball, though. Rams come the other way. Hawkins to float on the left baseline, shot good. Good, unselfish basketball, five. The Mount Vernon Rams, and they lead by 11, 47-36, with 6.27 to go in the game. This timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy this year, making resolution to support your local community and businesses like the Medicine Shop, family-owned for more than 30 years. Well, I will pick a Renly College player in the game when this one is over. Renly College offers over 100 degrees certificate programs for thousands less. Log on to rlc.edu to see how you can save thousands. All kinds of things going on today. As I mentioned earlier, three different tournaments being covered by WMIX today. The first here at Salem. The second in round 115 pregame. The Mount Vernon Lady Rams will take on the Carbondale Terriers in a championship game of the Carbondale Tournament. That's where Chris Hugo's at right now. As the Rams take on the Terriers, that game will start at 1.30 pregame at 1.15 right here on WMIX FM and at WMIXSports.com. The Woodlawn Cardinals are on tonight. And it will let you know in 6 minutes and 20 seconds, 27 seconds, what station that game will be on. The Cardinals look for their fifth straight Midland Trail Conference Tournament Championship tonight as they take on the Sisney Running Lions at North Clay High School. Matt Toon has the basketball down 11. If they're going to get back into this one, it's go time right now. Cross the timeline, come the way. That's Kilson with a basketball, throws it left side to Sparks. Sparks against the Rams, 2-3 zone. Back over to Pilsen on the wing, over to Sparks on this left side. Sparks with it in the corner. That's to Scott. Back to Sparks. Sparks throws underneath. Stolen away by Fitzgerald. Braden runs the other way. Numbers. Hawkins down the lane. Falls stolen away. Too many numbers got back from Mattoon. 
by the time the move was made. But by the time I said that, Matthew threw it away, <clears throat> and Mount Vernon has the basketball. And now that'll be a foul on Pilsen for Matus. And that's the sixth, maybe seventh on Mattoon. Sixth on the wave. With 5.59 to go in the game, the Rams are up 11. Looking for their biggest lead with a basket here. Fidel into the front court. Goes right side to Fitzgerald's. Left wing to float it. Float it on the wing. Now goes right side to Fitzgerald. Down the lane he comes. Gets a defeater in the lane. Shot no good in the foul. Good play by Mount Vernon in the paint. Good interior passing. Feaser will go to the line on the 17 foul of Mattoon. And that will be the second on Wetzel as Michael Feaser will go to the line and shoot two. Scoreboard updates today brought to you by Tony Will, State Farm Insurance. He's glad to help your family with all your insurance needs. Give his office a call. Find him on the web at TonyWill.com or look for the white State Farm Jeep around town. Feaser makes the first, 48-36. Mount Vernon on top. Feaser with three points in the game. Short rebound, Mattoon on that one. The wave down by 12, trying to get back into this one. Some way, somehow. On the left wing, Pilsen has it, throws it out near the timeline. The sparks between the circles. He'll dribble now, goes right, holds, now looks, goes in the lane. And the paint pass tip recovered on the baseline by Spear, but he had it stolen away by Pike. Pike into the front court to float on the left wing. Has to travel. Yeah, Trevor, he travels. He has that look of befuddlement, but he traveled. Can't make that move in this association. You can do it in the pros. Can't do it in the IHSA. Float is still disagreeing, but the call was right. He marches down the floor. It's a 1-3-1 now by the Rams. With it on the left side is Sparks. Holds at the waist. Mount Vernon's done a great job of changing defense in this game, and Matt Tune has been kept all ba- off balance offensively the entire time. Spear with it in the corner. Left wing pass to Sparks. Three on the way is no good. Defended three, and Florida has the rebound. Playing hard on both ends of the floor. Lydell into the front court. Under five to go. The Rams by 12. Lydell at the top of the key. Goes down the lane. Dribbles back out to the left wing over to Feaser. Feaser will look and doesn't throw it. Rams got a 12-point lead. Why right, right, risk it? Lydell gets it to Fitzgerald. Back to Jaron on the left wing. Jaron dribbles around over there. Just kind of looking for something. Can't find it. Throws the right wing to Pike. Pike holds against this man-to-man from Mattoon to Feaser on the left wing to, to Feaser. Holds in the baseline. Goes up for enough and then and scores. Feaser turned and got it and went to the rim. And layup. Good. 50-46. Mount Vernon's biggest lead of the day at 14. Top of the key. Sparks dribbles to the right side. Back to the left to Pilsen. Pilsen will shoot. Nope. Fake shot me out. To Sparks, right wing three on the way. It's no good off the mark. Rebound goes to Mattoon. Shot up by Wetzel. Doesn't go. Another shot. Wetzel had it. Lost it. Can't get it back. Bodies to the floor. And that was Pike who fell hard to the floor. We'll see who this fouls on. And that's on 13, which is Spear. And that means that Mattoon is over the limit. And that will send Jake Pike to the other end to shoot the one and one. As he fell hard to the floor that time, but he's earned a trip to the free throw line as Feaser goes over to check on him. Pike will be at the line today. He has five. Hasn't scored since the first quarter. He will shoot the one on one here with Malvern leading by 14 with 3.59 to go in the game. First free throw, of course, is good. He'll get another. Rams would like to win this one and get to that consolation championship tonight. Win another and have some momentum as you head down the last stretch of the regular season. Of course, those regional seedings and pairings come out in a couple of weeks. Trying to make that resume look even better as Pike did the free throw line. He made a free throw. 52-36. Pilsen comes across the timeline, throws the right side to Cattell. Rams by 16, looking to play in the title game of the champ- consolation side. Ball tip, Lydell. Steal, Jaron Lydell. To the rim, Lydell. Layup good, Jaron. Oh, Lydell, he's got six. 54-36, Rams by 18. 3-33 to go in the game. Spear with it between the circles. Left side to Pilsen. Spear, right side. <coughs> to Kytel. Kytel will launch a three-pointer on that right wing. It's good. I knew something was bad was going to happen because I was getting ready to call. 54-39, timeout. Mattoon, it's a 30-second variety. We'll tell you this time out for us. You buy the medicine shop. 
<laughs> this year make a resolution to support your local community and businesses like Medicine Shop, family owned for more than 30 years. 321 to go in the game here in Salem. Mount Vernon leads 54 39. As the Rams have bolted out to a 15 point lead led by 18 to the last shot. And if the Rams win, they will play tonight at 6 30 against the winner of Marion and Salem. <laughs> And we will have that game on FM. If the Rams win, it'll be on the FM side. Chris Hugo will drive back from Carbondale. Of course, you're a Lady Rams fan. The Lady Rams will be on here about 115 with the pregame opening tip at 130 as the Lady Rams play Carbondale in a championship game of the Carbondale tournament at 130. The Woodlawn Cardinals play tonight. That'll be at 7 o'clock at North Clay Championship game, the MTC tournament against Sydney. That game, as it looks right now, Heading toward the AM dial, but everything, of course, available audio-wise at WMIExports.com. Middle of January, B. Gum Jim just got hit by a fly. Go figure. Jeff Crow sent it my way, I'm, sure, I'm assuming. Wydell into the front court, left side to Pike. Mattoon and the man the man as Mount Vernon has a 15-point lead with a basketball. 3-10 to go in this one. Hawkins on the left side. Comes back to the middle of the floor, goes back to the left. He gets to Pike. Pike with it goes left side, now pulls it back out to Lydell. Mount Vernon content to run some clock here as Lydell gets down the lane to Pike. Left block, shot good. Ran some clock, but then they found a wide open layup. Pike has nine, and it's 56 39 Rams by 17. Into the front court on the right side is Spear, back out top of the key to Cattell. Left side to Pilsen. Pilsen goes out top of the key to Spear, and what do we have? Legal screen. Cattell with an illegal screen out high. Trying to free up Pilsen on the shot. He got caught. And that's the illegal screen. It'll go to Mount Vernon, who are up by 17 with 2.37 to go. Lots of things coming up here shortly. As we'll have the postgame show sponsored by Schmidt Chevrolet, scoring his stats and the really college player of the game. Well, Pike just said, if you're not going to guard me, and you guys are going to get out of my way, I'm going to go to the rim. It's 58 39 on the layup. Mount Vernon by 19. And that's with 2.15 to go in the game. Left wing Pilsen has it from Mattoon. Top of the key to tell. Right side to Spears. The Rams looking to get some revenge from last year. There's a backdoor lob. Boy, Mount Vernon let down that time. Wessel scores. Mattoon will call a timeout. 58-41 Mattoon, or Mattoon trails. And the Wave call a timeout. This timeout brought to you by the Medicine Shop. This year make a resolution to support your local community and businesses like the Medicine Shop. Family owned for more than 30 years. As I mentioned, we'll pick a Renlake College player of the game. At Renlake College, you can get a quality education and save thousands. Log on to rlc.edu to see which program is right for you. 205 left to go in this one. Mount Vernon leads 58-41 as the Rams try to exact some kind of revenge on Mattoon from last year when the Rams lost in the opening round here at the Salem Invitational Tournament. If, the, if and when the Rams hold on, they'll play tonight at 6.30 against the winner of the next game between Marion and Salem. Lydell bringing it into the front court. On the dribble, two minutes to go. He'll kick it out to the left side to Floda. Floda Hawkins near the timeline. There's a foul given by Pilsen. And Shikari Hawkins will go to the line and shoot two. So far this afternoon, Shikari's four out of six. At least two free throws. He's at 12 points off the bench. He gave Mount Vernon a much-needed spark early in the contest. When it was back and forth and both teams were shooting the basketball very well, Mount Vernon has been able to hang on, even with the hot shooting of Matthew. First free throw by Shikari is up and in. Boy, what a nice game for Shikari Hawkins today. 59-41. Hawkins is going to come out. He'll get a reliance ovation here from the Rams fans that are gathered down below me to our right. Second free throw, no good. Well, he's not coming out because he can't make that free throw. Here comes the wave across the timeline. Pilsen on the right side. He'll throw right wing to Cattell. Back to Pilsen. Pilsen at the top of the key. Gives it on the left wing to Spear. Three ball on the way from Spear is up and in. No timeout given by Mattoon. They may be out. Hawkins with a basketball. He'll bring it against the pressure. Gets it to Feeder. Caesar may have a dunk. Nope, layup good. That works out even better. Caesar scores on the layup, 61-44. 90 seconds left in this one. 
Hilton left wing three again on the way. It's no good. It's the floor. Mattoon has it. Offensive rebound. Cattell with it on the right wing. Leads it for Spear on the three. It's no good. Goes to the floor. Mattoon another rebound. Here comes the three from Pilsen in the corner. It's no good. Rebound Mattoon the other side. And he, and he over getting played here. And that ball went to the hands of Mattoon out of bounds. And now Malvern will have the basketball. Fitzgerald's in. Hawkins out. And a nice reception for some of the Rams fans to blow up for Hawkins' effort today. Pressure by Mattoon. They trail by 17. 61-44. Fitzgerald will bring the ball across the timeline. Braden over across the timeline to the left. Now looks, comes Fibbles back out. Gets to a cutting line now. Bounce pass. Feeder layup. Good. Now Vernon sliced and nice the defense there. 63-44. 50 seconds to go. Pilsen's off the key. Leaves it out. Long three on the way from Spears. No good rebound. Pike. <coughs> I would suspect That'll be all of the fouling for Mattoon. Down by 19. Well, that's what I get for suspecting, don't I? Fitzgerald will go to line and shoot two. That's at the 10th team foul. <laughs> Fitzgerald at the line. He has 10. And Mr. Free throw. That's one thing Mount Vernon's going to have to improve upon as they head into the night and the rest of the way. That free throw shooting kind of been a bugaboo for this team. Here recently, but the Rams will get a third game in the tournament as they will play tonight at 6.30 in the Constellation Championship. Well, we made it two free throws in a row. Darn. Mattoon into the front court. Three ball on the way from Cattell is good. He makes that. Mattoon out of timeouts. Don't want to call it down 16. Well, 20 seconds ago, they don't have any, so they can't call it. Cheryl just floated it. The pike in the front court. And Mattoon is not going to go away easily, and they're going to still foul. That'll delay the lunch reservations for many in the gym. I agree, Mr. Crow. I don't know either. But Pike goes to the free throw line where he has 11 this afternoon in this one. 63-47, Mount Vernon on top by 16. Make that 64-47. Pike hits the first. He'll get another. You're down by so many. Why do you need to foul? As Floda gets the offensive rebound on the miss, then it's stolen away. Coming the other way is Mattoon. That is Pilsen. He scores on the pilfery, and it's 64-49. Mount Vernon will throw it in. Green and Mattoon will still pressure, but they will not foul. Your final score this afternoon, Mount Vernon 64, Mount Mattoon 49. We'll take a break come back with the Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. You're listening to Rams Basketball on WMIX. With two new hospitals, trusted physicians, and dedicated staff, it's clear that our local healthcare industry is helping to make our community stronger every day. Hi, I'm Terry Prosize, a commercial lender and healthcare banking specialist at Community First Bank. I'm putting over 20 years of healthcare and business experience to work for our medical community and local businesses. Whether you have an expanding physician practice, an existing business, or hoping to start a new business, I have the financial prescription for you. Community First Bank with locations in Mount Vernon, Woodlawn, Dix, and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC, Equal Housing. How does Dale's Harley Davidson in Mount Vernon stay the longest running Harley dealer in Southern Illinois? How about free pickup and delivery and being the home of the $29.95 oil change? Plus, get financing as low as $1.5. 0.5 APR, along with the best selection of certified pre-owned Harley Davidsons. So now you know how Dale's Harley Davidson stays number one. Dale's Harley Davidson open every day but Wednesday, just off of I-57 in Mount Vernon. Visit dales-hd.com and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. People's National Bank understands how much small business means to a community. That's why we have been supporting the local economy of Southern Illinois for over 100 years by providing commercial loans to area businesses. And our loan decisions are made right here in Southern Illinois. Hi, this is Jim Flagg, commercial banker for People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. Stop by today to find out what a true community bank is all about. People's National Bank, proudly supporting local businesses since 1909. The Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois proudly welcomes Dr. Brian Steinke to their medical staff. Dr. Steinke earned his medical degree at the University of Illinois in Chicago and has degrees in anatomy and physiology from UC Berkeley, and he brings prestigious credentials to the center. Dr. Steinke is a gifted physician and contributor to orthopedic textbooks. Call 618-242-3778 or visit their informative website at orthocenter-si.com. 
America is a nation on wheels. Everyone has at least one automobile. We use them for shopping, work, everything we do. But they can be a threat. Some accidents can't be prevented. Your professional Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon, can help protect you from a large financial loss when an accident happens. Call Page Insurance today at 242-7000 about low-cost auto insurance from Pekin Insurance. Ask them about the many money-saving discounts that are available. Depend on your hometown professionals. Pekin Insurance. What is good sports talk, really? Around these parts, it's the WMIX Saturday Sports Show. Every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news. With a vast assortment of interviews and knowledgeable in-studio discussion, it's the most content-driven local sports show on the radio dial. And it's every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news, only on AM 940 and WMIXsports.com, where you can listen on your computer, smartphone, or any device. It's all made possible by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. This is Rams Basketball on WMIX, the Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac Post Game Show. Starts now. Chevrolet Cadillac Post Game Show brings you the Rams. Final score today, 64 49 over the Mattoon Green Wave. As we come back, the Melbourne Rams will play tonight at 6 30 in the Constellation Championship game. They'll play their good friends. It's going to be either Marion or Salem for the third time this year. That'll be at 6 30 night on the FM dial as Mount Vernon will play here at the SIT Constellation Championship game. Pre-game will start around 6.15 on 94.1 FM, as well as at WMIExports.com. Of course, the Lady Rams will begin play at 1.30 today's Carbondale Tournament Championship game against the host Terriers. Pre-game will begin at 1.15 right here on WMIX at 94.1 FM, as well as at WMIExports.com. Tonight's Woodlawn game. We'll be on the AM side, AM 940, and at WMIXports.com. Free game at 645. Opening tip at 7 as the Woodlawn Cardinals take on the Sisney running Lions. We'll need to take a break. When we come back, I'll have scoring and stats from this one. Mount Vernon wins today, 64-49. You're listening to the Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show and Rams basketball on WMIX. I'm Michael Stack with a look at your next rad weather. A bit breezy with mostly sunny skies this afternoon's high 53, mainly clear skies tonight. The low 26, a bit colder with mostly sunny skies high 36 Sunday, partly sunny, brisk, and very cold Monday, high 20. Cold on Tuesday with times of clouds and sunny skies, high 21. Not as cold with sunny, two partly cloudy skies, high 40 Wednesday. Next rad weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. We're all pressed for time. Work keeps piling up on your desk, the kids have practice, and you have to find time for dinner. Hi, Roy Schmidt, Ford dealer at Ford Square and Chrysler dealer at King City Chrysler Center in Mount Vernon. With all the miles you put on your vehicle, it's easy to forget about servicing your vehicle. Allow me to introduce two websites to make your service experience even easier. At FordSquare.com and KingCityChrysler.com, you can schedule your service appointment online. You tell us what you need, and we will make it happen. Or, if you're really on the go, try our new express lube at King City Chrysler with no appointment necessary. It's that simple. Ford Square, 1501 Broadway, and King City Chrysler, 1603 Broadway of Mount Vernon. Find us online or on Facebook. This is Rams Basketball on WMIX, powered by Community First Bank. Oh, welcome back to the Schmidt Chevrolet Cadillac Post Game Show. Malvern wins today, 64-49. The scoring and stats of how the Rams did it this afternoon, 18 of 31 from two-point range, 58%. 6 of 10 from the arc for 60%. The Rams, 24-41 from the field today for 59%. Mattoon was 12 of 25 from two-point range, 48%. Only hit 8 of 22 from the field for, from three-point range for 36%. The Wave go 20 of 47 from the field in the game for 43%. Free throw shooting, Mount Vernon was only 10 of 18 for 56%. Mattoon hit both of their free throws. Rebounding went to the Rams, 25-23. And your turnovers, Mattoon had 17. Mount Vernon had 13. Scoring in the ball game for the Green Wave, they were led in scoring by Travis Cattell with 16 points. Grant Spear had 13, followed by Jared Pilsen, 8, Austin Wetzel, 5, and Tanner Scott and Ryan Sparks had 4 apiece. For the Mountain Vernon Rams, their leading scorer today, 
Trevor Floda with 14 points. Shikari Hawkins off the bench with 13. Jake Pike, 12. Braden Fitzgerald had 10. Michael Fieser, 9. And Jaron Lydell had 6. So four of the six scores for Mount Vernon in the double figures today as the Rams win against Mattoon, 64-49. We need to take a final break. We'll come back and pick a Red Lake College player of the game. Red Lake College, you can get a quality education and save thousands. Log on to rlc.edu to see which program is right for you. Rams win the day, 64-49. We'll take a break and come back here on the Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. You're listening to Rams Basketball on WMIX. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy offers convenience and great service, all for the same cost. Our pharmacy staff is so helpful. They're always ready to answer any questions you may have. You'll never wait hours for your prescription. We'll get you in and out in just minutes. Or, for added convenience, use one of our two drive through windows. For those folks who prefer to stay home, our delivery service will bring the medications to your front door or your workplace. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black to tell you more. Home delivery does make us stand out from the crowd. Independents uh, like the medicine shop offer home delivery. People find that so convenient, and not just seniors, uh, but also busy professionals. Delivery to work or to their home once they get home in the evenings is just a, a service that sets us apart from our competition, absolutely. It's so easy to transfer your prescriptions. All it takes is a phone call from you, and we'll take care of the rest. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy accepts Medco, TRICARE, Express Scripts, and many other 90-day plans. The Medicine Shop, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Tomorrow, it's the championship round of the NFL playoffs as we bring you a special doubleheader. Hi, this is Scott Graham. Join me and the rest of our Dial Global Sports crew from the Subway Fresh broadcast booth for all the action. First, the San Francisco 49ers head to Atlanta to take on Matt Ryan and the Falcons. Then, Tom Brady and the New England Patriots host Ray Lewis and the Baltimore Ravens. The NFL playoffs are right here. Your radio home for Conference Championship Sunday is 94.1 FM WMIX. Your future is calling. With a GED test and some help from Ren Lake College, you can answer the call. The current test expires at the end of 2013 and your scores will expire too if you don't finish and pass the test by then. Don't feel prepared? Don't worry, we can help. Visit finishthegedcom to learn more. Don't miss the chance to turn one small step into your next big opportunity. Like college, a better job, and the respect you deserve. Finish your GED by the end of 2013. Questions? Call Ren Lake College's Adult Education and Literacy Department today at 437-5321. Back to Rams Basketball, powered by Community First Bank. There, welcome back to the Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. The Mount Vernon Rams advance to the Constellation Championship game tonight here at the Salem Tournament by defeating the Mattoon Greenway by a score of 64-49. We're at that point where I, and I say I, Get to pick the Renly College player of the game, but I'm going to give it to Shikari Hawkins today. Off the bench with 13 points. Mount Vernon and Matt, too, were back and forth early on in this one, making shots everywhere. And Shikari Hawkins came off the bench, not only made some points to join the fray of making shots, but also did a very good job defensively and getting to the rim when Mount Vernon needed. So Shikari Hawkins is your Renly College player of the game. Renly College offers over 100 degrees certificate programs for thousands less. Log on to rlc.ed to see how you can save thousands. A reminder of our broadcast schedule today. Three tournaments with games at three tournaments being covered today by WMIX. The next game will be on here in about 25 minutes for the pregame as the Mount Vernon Lady Rams play Carbondale, the title game of the Terriers tournament. The pregame will be at 115 this afternoon, followed by the opening tip at 130 as the Mount Vernon Lady Rams take on Carbondale right here on WMIX 94.1 FM. With Chris Hugo, is already at Carbondale, ready to go. You can also listen to that game live on the Internet at WMIXport.com. Tonight, the Mount Vernon Rams will play at 6.30 in the Constellation Championship game against the winner of Salem and Mary. The next game here at Salem this afternoon. Free game will be at 6.15, opening tip at 6.30. As the Rams play with Chris Hugo, bring you the broadcast of that game on 94.1 FM, as well as at WMIXport.com. Com. The Woodlawn Cardinals will play in the MTC Tournament Championship tonight at 7 p.m. at North Clay against the Sydney Running Lions. That game will be on AM 940 and also online at WMIExports.com. Pre-game at 645, opening tip at 7 o'clock. Remember our social media? Follow us on Twitter at WMIExports. You can also like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WMIExports, or go to our website, WMIExports. 
Gmail.com. We're going to wrap it up and get out of the bleachers here at B Gum Gymnasium in Salem, Illinois. For WMAX Sports Team of Avery Barton, Jeff Crow, Chris Hugo, and I'm Denny Zerwinski. Thank you for listening as the Rams win the day 64 49 over Mattoon. Thank you for listening and good night, everybody.